Hello everyone, my name is Angelo Guterres Cabello and I am presenting this work on behalf of my workmates Jose Miguel Correa and Steve Elizabeth Studia Price entitled Post Digital Overflows, Screens, Learning and University. In 2020, two research groups from the University of the Basque Country and the University of Barcelona started a research project called TriUp learning trajectories of young university students. Talking about participants, 50 people between 18 and 25 years old took part in this project, 30 women and 20 men from two different territories, the Basque Country and Catalonia, who were studying university degrees in different areas of knowledge. The basic strategies for data collection have been interviews, multimodal notes, biogram and learning diaries, focus groups with teachers and students, an online questionnaire. Based on the data obtained from those encounters with university teachers and students, we started questioning ourselves about the effects associated with the proliferation of the screens and the digital in higher education. To do so, we adopted a methodological approach based on collaborative autoethnography. For this specific work, it is proposed a polyphonic approach in three voices. Following the collaborative ethnography principles, each of us, three, wrote an individual test addressing our feelings to the research topic in the solitude of our single rooms, metaphorically speaking. After writing our individual vignettes, we held a meeting where we shared our test regarding our feelings about the increase of the screens at the higher education. This is what we consider the living room. In this contribution, we will focus on three tensions associated to. The first of them is related to the degradation of personal relationships to which we've been subjected by the overexposure to communication through screens. In this regard, three ideas. First of all, from COVID, there has been an increase in the number of meetings through multi-platform transit and their management. A second idea, the obligation to teach virtual classes for which we were not prepared. And a final idea, the consequence of overexposure to screens resulting in the degradation of personal relationships. We also address the conflict linked to the consumption of our attention by the colonization of digital devices. In that regard, three ideas. The, the ab abundance of information due to digitalization makes attention a scarce commodity. A second idea, the lack of personal institutional strategies puts universities in the battle to capture the attention of their students. And the last one, the continuous relationship between the awareness of an addictive and unproductive use of mobile time and the very need to be on these platforms. And the final tension is related to the rise of digital public profiles. In this respect, three ideas are worth highlighting. As teachers, we are obliged to constantly advertise our work on different digital platforms, such as ResearchGate, Google Scholar, Orsit, Facebook, or Twitter. A second idea, it is constantly undermined our social and institutional work and the real impact of our research by forcing us to advance in research rankings. And the last idea, the social and institutional contribution and commitment of university teaching staff has been dehumanized and therefore made precarious by the advance of digital technology. By way of conclusion, we end this presentation with the space dedicated to the living room. We understand that this is a period of change and that the university therefore needs to assess what role technology will play in, in the teaching, research, and life of its employees. The humanization of digital change demands resistance, discussion, and agreement on, on what kind of university education we want to build together. And finally, when we talk about young people's learning, we sometimes focus too much attention on digital technologies and overlook the kind of practices they develop in how physical and digital spaces, activities and times become entangled. Thank you for your attention.